Hi everyone! I hadn't actually intended on filming today so this is a bit random but I checked my YouTube channel today and it's actually been a whole year since I started my YouTube channel. It's actually a year on the 11th of November so it's quite a few days after that and it'll be two years since I started my blog on the 17th so I thought I just had to mention that and how um, yeah it's crazy how I've been doing this for a year now and my blog for two years which I know I'm not as good as sticking to but um, yeah wow so yeah I just thought I'd film a video and then I thought well I may as well make about something other than just that so I'm going to do my winter lip products video um, which is actually really strange because that's the first video I ever did on YouTube so yeah I'm going to have to see if they're not all the same firstly I did my hair a day like this I did it with a makeup by Tiffany D sock bun tutorial which I'll link below um, it took us a few attempts to actually get it okay but yeah it's the first time I've ever put my hair in a bun so if I look kind of weird then that's that but I just thought I'd leave it like this for the video um, yeah so I'm just going to get into it the selection I've got are mostly deep purples and reds I've got them all swatched here on my hand ready to show you um, firstly there's no lip glosses I really don't wear that much lip gloss in winter for some reason I just prefer just lipstick or lip liner so yeah that's what I've got to show you um, the first four are kind of reds. Um, I'll start the one I've got on my lips right now and then I'll go through them and apply them for you. This is the one I've got on my lips right now and it's Avon's Charged Cherry. And it looks like this. As you can see, it's kind of strange shape. Um, I really do like it. I find it's really precise to get like in the cupid's bow and stuff. And it's generally quite a sheer lipstick. I'll show you up close. The lighting makes it look a bit more orangey, but it's actually quite a pinky red. Um, I'll show it on my hands compared to the others. These are the reds across the top, and this one, as you can see, is more sheer, so it's quite easy to wear for through the day. Um, it's quite shimmery, like not like sparkle, just like sheeny, so it's not matte at all, and it's just, I find it quite easy to wear for through the day. I'm going to apply them to my lips all the way through so you can see how they look on. This one is the Revlon one, and it's Revlon's really red. It's that one on my hand, so as you can see, it's matte. This one's a really long lasting formula and it's probably my favourite red and the one I go to all the time. It's quite blue tone, so it makes your teeth look really nice. And yeah, generally my favourite and not too expensive, which is really good. This next one that I'm wearing now is by Sleek and it is Vixen. I really like that little packaging, it's really short compared to like the bigger ones. Um, and this is what it looks like on. This one's definitely more of like fire engine red, like it's kind of orangey, really bright red compared to like the deeper tones as you can say in comparison. This one is definitely brighter, these are more blue toned and that one's more sheer but this one is a bright orangey red. And um, because of that I don't reach for it as often, I don't find it as flattering and easy to wear as the others. Um, but it is pretty and it's only £4 so it's a really nice buy and it's actually much more moisture like notion on the lips whereas this matte Revlon one. It's really matte on the lips and you've got to make sure the lips are like in perfect condition because it's not very nourishing whereas this one instantly after applying this one I apply this one and this one feels so much more smooth and nicer to apply so yeah that might be something to think about if you don't like mattes. And last but not least for the red lips is one I actually got in my last glossy box and it's by Yves Rocher. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, and it's quite a pinky red. This is it there compared to the others. It's definitely, as I say, more on the pinky side. And it's not matte, so as you can see, it looks like this. I'm sorry about the bad application, I'm just like doing them in a hobby, so this isn't actually how I would apply them. But um, yeah, that's what it looks like on the lips. This is it in the tube, and yeah, it's really silky to apply, it feels lovely to apply, and it does look really pretty. Um, this is probably my favourite alongside the Revlon one. Revlon one's probably the more classic one. This one <coughs> is also really nice, so. Yeah, um, it's probably not as easy to get your hands on though, so this one is also nice, but this one isn't as matte. Um, with the red lips, I do use a lip pencil. The red pencil that I use is by number 7, and it's a Perfect Lips Pencil in Fire, and it's just red. I like that they've got this little sharpener on the end, which is really useful. But they're just like one of these twist-up pencils, which makes them really handy. Um, I find that they're much softer than an actual pencil that you would sharpen. I find that they're just really silky. And they don't drag on your lips or anything and it's just a nice red that's it on my hand 
and as you can see it matches all of these really well. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably run out of this quite soon because I use it with like any red lip. And I do find that lip liner makes it look much more neat, like not as bad as this. Um, much neater and it actually gives it more depth of colour because it's like deeper around the edges and more intense. And it means it doesn't fade as much and it's just much more long lasting with a lip pencil. Moving on from reds, even though they're my favourite, favourite thing for winter. Um, I do like kind of more purpley tones as well, like, um, I don't know, like fuchsias and plummy colours. Um, this one looks really like drab compared to the reds I've just been applying and this is Avon's Provocative Plum and it's this one here so you can see it's the sheerest of all of them and I just find that really easy to wear for day to day and that's why I carry around with it and that's why there's only this much left of it. It's just really easy to wear and as you can see on my lips it's nothing too crazy but it's just a nice plummy colour. It doesn't actually show up too plum on the camera which is really strange but I think it's because my lips are really stained off using the red lipstick and taint them off so yeah it's generally more plum than pink in real life normally but it's because it's stained off the red lips but anything that's a sheer plummy thing, plummy lipstick is really nice I think. This next one's an oldie but a goodie and has loads of good memories for me and it's a Rimmel one, it's actually in the really old packaging. These are the last and finished lipsticks and I think they've repackaged them slightly and look a bit prettier now because these are a little bit drab but this used to be my absolute go to lipstick for nights out like before I got into makeup properly this was my night out lipstick and it's still here yeah, with what a day <laughs> it's getting a bit small now it's sugar plum and yeah I do think it's really pretty um, I've got it on my hand here the second one in and it's kind of got sheen to it, like kind of like a frost, but not like a scary frost. Um, and it is a lovely kind of plummy shade. Now for my absolute favourite night out lipstick, and this is Max Girl About Town. Um, it's a famous matte lipstick for being just a bright, like a deep fuchsia, not like a crazy scary one. Um, as you see, I've got my lips right now. It's not looking too like dark on here but it is really suitable for nights out and I actually have not on now I wouldn't feel bad wearing this out the house through the day. Actually when I used to wear the Rimmel one that I've just mentioned and had on the Sugar Plum one I often got asked if I was wearing my Girl About Town like even when I've worn recently instead of this people have just assumed it was the same one so they look quite different and this one isn't as bright but if you're looking for a cheaper alternative and you don't want to pay my prices this one is perhaps worth a look. Um, but for me, Girl of Our Town still wins every time, which is why this one doesn't get as much use now. Um, it's much creamier, I just love the smell of matte lipsticks, and it's just lovely and amplified finishes, which is what this is, um, are really like intense and just amazing lipsticks. I think it's probably my definite favourite ever lipstick, so I'd say a lot. And now I've got one more to go and it's a really dark one, so be warned. Last but not least is my dark set, which has taken me ages to put on because not only is this a really like, difficult lipstick to get right, that Girl About Town one, I forgot to say, it stains your lips a lot. Like when I wear it on a night out and the next morning, all day, I can't help but have Girl About Town lips whether I want them or not. So yeah, that could be a good or a bad thing. But now I want this lip. I actually think this one's discontinued, but it's just representing... This colour lip, and when this runs out, I would buy like a MAC version. And this is a again a Rimmel Last and Finish one, and it's a colour Bordeaux. Um, it just looks like that, really dark. You see on the on my hand how much dark it is in the rest of them, but I do love it, and I don't see the point in having loads of different dark lipsticks. However, I really do want Rebel, and there's a dark side by MAC. They will be the ones I'll buy. Um, but this is what this one looks like on the lips. It's definitely quite red, like a dark burgundy red, whereas I think Rebel's more purple, which I think will kind of suit me more. Um, but yeah, I don't wear this one very much, but I really do like it when I do. And it's very, um, my boyfriend calls it my goth, my gothic lips, but I just think it looks really nice. Um, yeah, and I quite like it with the bun thing and stuff, so yeah, I'm quite enjoying this look. So yeah, I do love this lipstick and if you can find it, grab it because it is really good and it's much cheaper than a MAC version. In terms of lip liners for purple ones, maybe not this lip, but for like Girl About Town, the Sugar Plum one, etc. 
or even with this on, you know, on its own, is again a number 7 lip pencil in Plum. It's just a twisty up ones, and it's just really nice, and that's it there. I find that when I wear this with the Girl About Town, it is, again, much longer lasting, but it's kind of a deeper purple than the Girl About Town lipstick is, so I think it makes it look, look a bit different, a bit... Not the same as everyone else because half my friends have that lipstick so when I wear that lipstick I wear it with this lip pencil. It makes it just a little bit deeper and more interesting and not just the same as everyone else. So yeah I really would advise that you try these lipstick lip liners out. Especially when they bring the £5 number 7 vouchers out in boots because they, these work out about one or two pounds um, with the voucher so that's a really good deal. So I have like nearly every colour because of their vouchers. Definitely worth it. But yeah, I'm going to go and rock this lip while I go and sit and eat my dinner with my family. Which they'll probably be like, why are you wearing that lipstick? But um, yeah, so thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!